Hey guys, Trey Llewellyn here, and this is What's Working Now on, fr on Mondays, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I'm excited to be here with you. Today, we're gonna start it off with Funnelytics 101. I took funnels and I took mathematics, squeezed them together, and we created Funnelytics. So before we get started, check out this really cool video. So, start from the beginning. Yeah, so I was an insurance agent. Started there, uh, that was my career. I was kind of between this tug of war of, is this something that I really wanna keep going because is it my passion? And so I made that leap, I quit, and I'm now saying I'm forever grateful. Uh, I started the online marketing. Uh, I reached out to my brother and the one thing that motivated me the most was him. I went to him and I said, hey, let's, let's start a business together. And so he said, okay. And that's kind of where it all started. We got onto uh, a website that sold t-shirts and we started making gun t-shirts. We, we started our first ones in January and we brought in, you know, maybe like 400 bucks, 500 bucks, but yet that was a small win. Like we did something. We were growing a fan page. We we're growing an audience. March, April, April came, May came. We had our best month ever. In May, we hit over $100,000 in shirt sales. The system that we we're selling the shirts on, they didn't give us buyer information. So we were always unemployed every time we ended a shirt campaign. And I'm just there in like despair. Like I'm just, huh, what do I do? You know, like I quit my job. Um, I'm not getting buyer information. We're unemployed every time we sell or end it. We end a t-shirt campaign. This sucks. I'm looking at my brother. I'm like, ah, you know, like I got to, not only do I have to feed a family for me, but I got to help him feed his family. And that was a lot of pressure. I call an, oh, a, a good old friend, uh, Kim Doyle. She's like, well, have you ever heard of a, this guy named Russell Brunson? And I was like, no, I've, I've never heard of Russell Brunson. What's he do? She's like, well, um, he, he just built this really cool thing called ClickFunnels. So I log in. I grabbed my free trial at ClickFunnels, and within two days, I built the same type of feel website that we were used to having, put a t-shirt on it, and we, we did over $1,000 in, in profit in like two days. And that's kind of where uh, another pivotal point came for me because I saw how delegation really worked in a company. We started to expand. I wanted to hire some more people to take phone calls. Like I could see the, the direction the company was taking. And so we found this space, it was 800 square foot. I remember the first day we unlocked the doors and me and Bryceland and Dylan are there and, and Dylan, Dylan leans over and he's like, what are we gonna do with all this space? We've gone from an 800 or actually like a 400 loft to about a 8,000, so 10 times uh, the space uh, in, in just under two and a half years, just by using Facebook, and, and, and click funnels and some computers and some knowledge but it, but here's the thing there's a lot of people that make it work you know if I had to take all the credit I can't it's one team one goal one mission and when your team actually buys in that's what makes it all work watching the company grow from the ground up is like no other experience that um, most employees ever have it's the knowledge that you you gain from that is unbelievable so, you know, you talk about, uh, you know, the one goal. Our goal is to succeed and scale and build this business. And um, when you find the right people, you can do that. I am very fortunate and thankful that I found this, uh, this company and uh, we work hard and have fun, like I said. So I love it here. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Funnelytics, but what you just saw is what it takes to not only run a successful funnel, a successful business and a company, but along with a team that is dedicated to what it takes to make all of this work. And it really comes down to having your numbers put in place, you know, knowing your back end numbers. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today, which is what I call Funnelytics. Yes, I totally made up that word. I've given this speech now three times around the world in Germany, uh, in Texas, and in a couple other different states. Uh, but I want to share it with you. I want to be able to share it with you. And so what we're going to break down is single product funnels, multi-product funnels, and then continuity. How to set up pillars in your, in your business to create a foundation so that something like is supporting you. So you can actually, you know, if one pillar goes away, then you're still standing. I know a lot of people are on Shopify. I know a lot of people are on Amazon. I know a lot of people are building funnels. And there's just that one thing that if someone takes away one of those pillars, whew, 
and that's your only pillar, you're done for. You need to have uh, multiple pillars set up and that's exactly what we're gonna cover here in, in what I see inside funnels. So the first thing I wanna cover is single product funnels. Okay, so what does that mean? That means we're gonna be selling things like maybe a phone, uh, maybe a coffee mug, maybe a pair of shoes, maybe a necklace. So when I'm looking at single product funnels, uh, this is the number one thing I see that is a mistake when people come into our mastermind. So when someone comes in and they have this store that's doing like you know $100,000 a month or $400,000 a month, I'm like, perfect. How many are you selling on the front end? And they're just like, oh, we just sell one. We only sell one unit. And I wanna show you why those numbers can really explode your business if done correctly because I, I see most people doing it incorrectly. So a single product funnel, this is what it looks like when, you, when we build out funnels, is you have an opt-in, you have an order form, you have an OTO, which stands for one time offer, the, the, the customer is only gonna see that one time, and then you have OTO2, which is a one time offer number two. So they're gonna see that for the second time. And with us, we li I like to look at, okay, like what is our percentages to where when someone comes in, what, how many people of those convert to the next step? And in this case, we're going to take 10,000 clicks, so these are imaginary clicks, just to say like, hey, Facebook, send us 10,000 clicks. This is how we would see the funnel being fit with our, our funnel or with our product launch. So let's say we take 10,000 clicks. Our opt-in is 50%. That means 50% of those 10,000 people that come over are gonna become subscribers to our email. So we're gonna have them opt in to our email list. So that's fantastic. That means 5,000 people are going to opt in. They're gonna, we're gonna build our email list through that. Of those 5,000, we're gonna convert 10% of those. So 5,000 people who type in their email, we're normally gonna convert about 10%, which means we're gonna get 500 orders. All right, follow along so far? Pretty easy math. And then our one-time offer, we wanna see around five to 10%. I went with the lower numbers on this uh, case study. And then OTO2, which is 25 as well, 5%. So let's just say, maybe we're selling a really high-class uh, coffee mug for 35 bucks, all right, that's the example we'll use. And then in the OTO, one-time offer, maybe we say, okay, here's one coffee mug, but maybe you wanted two. The best thing that I see a lot of people not doing is the best thing to sell someone after they've purchased a product is sell them more of that same product. And that's exactly what we do throughout all of our funnels. So with a premium funnel such as this, a coffee mug for 35 bucks, let's say our one-time offer is like, hey, do you want three more for $55? Sure, that makes sense. And then our last OTO, two, would maybe be some really nice uh, coffee beans for 95 bucks, okay? So let's, let's multiply all this out and see kind of exactly where we are. So 500 times 35 bucks is 17 grand, not too bad. 25 times 55 bucks is 1,375, and then 25 times $95, which gives us 500 buyers brought in, if you can see that number here, 21,000. 250 bucks through that whole funnel. So those 500 buyers brought in 21 grand to our funnel. So I'm gonna stop real quick there because the, the, math, uh, the mathematicians watching this probably are you know, gurgling saying, well, he didn't take out the cost of goods. He didn't take out the, the refunds. So uh, yes, I did not. I wanna make sure though, when you guys are going through this math and, and looking at it later on and, and rewatching this video, by the way, we're gonna be here for about 40 minutes. So if you don't have time for that, you need to hit the little icon uh, the little down arrow and say save this video and Facebook since we're live here today because I want you to come back and, and re-watch this and re-watch this because it's so, uh, it, there's just so much information here and I don't want you to miss it, okay? So 500 buyers equals 21 grand. Yes, we didn't include COGS. You need to include those COGS, which is a cost of goods, which is how much is the product? How much did that coffee mug cost me? Is it $2? I need to subtract that out. How much was shipping? How much is my refunds? Things like that. So, for instance, on this, we, our total revenue was 21,250 bucks. So now, my biggest question is, well, how many clicks can I afford? Or what can I afford for a click? So we know we sent 10,000 uh, clicks over, 21 grand was used, okay? So we take that divided, and we get $2.12 per click. Well, what about uh, the conversions? Well, we take the same revenue, 21 grand divided by the buyers, which is 500 buyers, which means that I can afford up to $42 for a buyer. Now, as we all know, whoever can afford the most wins in this online game. So the idea here, the big principle, and this is why I want you guys to continue watching here, is the biggest principle 
is to make sure you can always afford the most, afford more than your competition. And when you can do so, you will win. You will win, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how we're doing, gonna do that. So again, to reiterate, I can pay up to $42.50 for a conversion, for a buyer on this particular funnel and break even. Of course, this doesn't include cost of goods, so you wanna put those in there. So now, that was a single funnel. A single product funnel is where you only allow the customer to buy one unit. Now, here's the thing, is like, oh, well, I sell books. A book is a perfect example of where you should sell more, and that's where we're gonna get into multi-product funnel. Same thing with coffee mugs. What if I sell shoes, right? Why would someone buy more than one pair of shoes? Guys, we see it. The, net, the biggest thing that I saw uh, a while back, we use mouse flow. If you guys aren't using mouse flow on your, on your uh, funnels or on your, your cart, you need to because it allows you to really piggyback and be a fly on the wall over your customer and see where they're clicking, but also how they're going through your website. And this is the, one of the craziest stories I have to this day, which is we're, we're on mouse flow and we're, we're watching this girl fill out the order form. She's buying a necklace and she's filling out the order form, fills out her credit card information and all of a sudden just leaves, like gone. I'm like, whoa, like why did she not, like I'm driving my, I'm like pulling my hair out, like why did she not hit submit, it's the craziest thing. Well, with Mouseflow, you get to see all the information that they're entering. So that was kind of cool. And along with that information was her phone number. So I was like, well, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna ask her why she didn't press submit. So I, I call her up and I was like, hey Susan, uh, this is Trey, CEO. And uh, I'm just curious, like I saw you going through our, through our online store and you looked really excited about buying this necklace. And she's like, yeah. I was like, so crazy question, but like, why did you, why did you leave? And she goes, oh, well, it was such a good offer. This is her words. This, it was such a good offer that I was on my phone ordering and I was like, holy smokes, my best friend, uh, Sally, wants one, would probably want one. I'm gonna go in with her. And so she went out of the funnel. She called her friend to say, hey, do you want it? And then when she went back, it was already gone. How many of you guys have been on Facebook, saw an offer, and then like, oh, I'll get that later, and then all of a sudden disappears? Well, same thing, right? we are seeing the same stuff. So it's like, okay, how can we look at uh, producing this? Where in this case, she was gonna buy more than one. Maybe it's for a friend, maybe it's for herself, maybe it's for her kids. So we started looking at, maybe we shouldn't just sell single product funnel. We should actually give them the option to buy more. Like, why wouldn't you? So multi-product funnel, keep with me here. Cause this is gonna get real good. So we're gonna take that same coffee mug, which has, I've replaced here the same coffee mug for $35, and now we're gonna say, you know what, you can buy two for 70. Real crazy math, all we did was take $35 times two, which gives us $70, and we're gonna do that down the line. So we're gonna allow someone to buy three for 105, four for 140, five for 175, and 10 for 350. How many of you guys think, just real quick, how many do you think of people out there that would buy 10 units, 10 coffee mugs, 10 pairs of shoes, 10 necklaces? Pretty crazy, right? It can't be that high. But what we're doing is, I want you to take note of something. I want you to take note of this big 10% over here because the opt-in will not change. We didn't make any changes to the opt-in, so it's not gonna, they don't even know the price yet, they haven't seen the order form, so that 50% is gonna stay the same, which means when we send 10,000 clicks, we're still gonna get 5,000 opt-ins. And on the order form, we're still gonna convert at 10% because we didn't move anything, we didn't change anything. All we did was allow the customer to now purchase and be able to purchase more than one. Give me a, give me a like, guys. Give me a wow factor if you think that's just a, a crazy, crazy concept to uh, give the ability to your customer to buy more than one unit, right? Yeah, okay, I see, yeah, you guys are pushing some likes now. What's up, John, what's up, Jeffrey? Hey, Henry, good to see you guys here. So, uh, yeah, by the way, I'm watching you guys live uh, here on the iPad, if you didn't realize that. So. Order form, the thing I wanna show you is the 10% is of the 500, but divided out to how many units. So these units are gonna be divided into that 10% of those 500 buyers, okay? So to say it again, we're still gonna have 500 buyers, but not all 500 are buying one unit. They're gonna be spread out to buying one unit, two, three, four, five, and 10. So how does that look? Well, 38% will buy one unit. Holy smokes, right? Like, hold up, because you're telling me that of the 500 people, only 38% are going to purchase just one? Yes. So doesn't that mean the other percentage of people buy more than one? Yes. 
and that's the money you're missing out on right now. Like, this is crazy. 28% are gonna buy two, 14% are gonna buy three, 6% are gonna buy four, 8% are gonna buy five. This is what, when it gets even crazier. I didn't even think this was possible, but 4%, 4% of the 500 people that come in and buy are gonna say, you know what, I want 10 of these, and those numbers hold strong. So what does that look like when it comes to a revenue standpoint? Well, 190 units, right? 190 people are gonna purchase uh, one unit, which is six grand in revenue, right there. Two, so 140 people are gonna buy two. 70 people are gonna buy three. 30 people are gonna buy four. 40 people are gonna buy five. 20 people are going to buy 10 units. Look at how crazy this is. The same amount of revenue is made and generated by five units and 10 units, seven grand each. Guys, this comes into a full revenue pack of 42 grand, and this is just on the order form. So now we have 500 orders, which equals 42 grand. We didn't do anything with upsell one, we didn't do anything with upsell two, so those two are gonna stay the same. But this is a total revenue of $45,000. 45,525 bucks into your bank account. Amen to that, right? Would 45 grand change your life? Heck yeah, would a $45,000 funnel change your life? Absolutely it would. Like this is what I'm talking about. So just, just out of curiosity, which one would you rather have? Or which one are you doing? Are you doing a single product funnel, which is bringing in 21 grand by just allowing the person to only purchase one or nothing different, and we're doing a multi-product funnel, which allows them, the only thing that we changed was allowing them to purchase more than one unit. And look at that, we over doubled our revenue. $45,000 in, that's $91. I can afford up to $91 per buyer versus the person with selling just one unit at $42 or $42 per buyer. So you see where the guy down the street, the Joe Smo selling ice cream cones, I got the same ice cream cones, but he only allows the customer to buy one ice cream cone. I say, I, I don't care, you can buy as many as you want ice cream cones. I can afford to buy more traffic. I can afford to get in front of more people because of how much I'm able to make using a multi-product funnel. Is this making sense? Give me, give me some wows. Give me some loves or some hearts right now, like heart, 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 heart on the Facebook. That's awesome, right? So, Funnelytics 101, let's move into a continuity. The biggest thing, the biggest thing we get into our mastermind, by the way, if you haven't clicked the link yet above this, this video, you need to click the link, you need to check this out. We're looking for two people to come into our mastermind if they're not filled yet. Uh, but here's the thing is, is as long as that application is open, we're looking for two more people into our mastermind. The biggest thing that we get when people come into our, 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 our mastermind is I'm looking to build a back end. They're doing 100 grand on the front. They're doing 200 grand on the front. Some of them are just doing 10 grand on the front. That's no big deal. But what we see is they're one hit wonders, is they're going through and they're saying, holy smokes, I gotta keep reinventing the wheel. I gotta keep looking for another product because as, as soon as I sell out this product, no one wants to buy anymore. I have no more money coming in. I totally get it. We sold t-shirts for a long time with no back end. And so it was always like, okay, we're unemployed every time we sell out of a t-shirt because we gotta go invent the next t-shirt. I feel you, I get it. Which is why continuity and building out a back end is so crucial to, you, to the livelihood of your business, making sure it stays strong. So like I said, if you haven't clicked that link above the video, you need to come in, you need to opt in, fill out the form, say hello to us, let's get on a call. Let's talk about your business, let's see what you're doing, and let's see how we can place and implant a continuity system into your company and also a foundational back end, which I talked about those pillars, right? So this is why it drives me, it drives me nuts not seeing people do that. So single product continuity. So what I wanna do with this one is I wanna do like a freemium item. So we're kinda of hitting a couple different things. We did premium items on the first two, single product, multi-product. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show you like a freemium product. Well, what's a freemium product? A free product might be, hey, you know what? We wanna send you one of our new best laser engraved pins for free today. All we ask is that you pay shipping, okay? So with that, we have our opt-in page that's still gonna hit 50%. I forgot my, 50, or my percentage points. Our order form is going to convert at 10%, but what we're looking for is to build into continuity on the back end. Guys, if you do not have a continuity in place with your company, you need to get one, okay? Because every month, on the first day of the month, how amazing would it be to know that you got 100 customers paying you 20 bucks, or have 1,000 customers paying you 20 bucks, or have 10,000 customers paying you 20 bucks on the month, on the first of the month? If you don't have that, we need to talk, okay? So, order form. 
10, 10 uh, percent, and now we're going to be doing five dollars. So that's going to be maybe five dollars shipping. And then OTO is twenty percent, so it's going to say, "Hey, do you want more of the same thing?" Plus a trial into our membership. We'd love to have you try it out for a dollar, a fourteen-day trial, and then boop, they say, "Hey, as long as you stay, it's going to be you know thirty or forty bucks." So what's that look like? Five hundred people. So we had five thousand. Same numbers here. Five thousand come in. We had ten thousand clicks. Five hundred orders at five bucks equals twenty-five hundred dollars. A hundred are going to say yes, that's 20% for a dollar to do the trial. So that's we're going to bring in 100 bucks. So nothing crazy, like our total revenue is only, in this case, 2,600 bucks. So what does that look like? Well, we got to do the same thing. How much can I afford per click? Well, $2,600 over 10,000 clicks is just 26 cents, 26 cents a click uh, for that. Or per buyer, that's only $5.20 per buyer, okay? so. Crazy enough is that what we need to look at here is the 20% mark because this funnel is built to find continuity members. And how we did that is through a freemium uh, offer, which the reason we do that is to get people to raise their hand and say, you know what, I'm interested in this niche, such as like the fishing niche, okay? Maybe we're selling lures, maybe we're selling little uh, reels or something like that for really cheap, maybe worms for a buck. And it's like, hey, I'm a fisherman. I'm the only one that's going to buy this. Maybe you're a truck guy and we're doing like little uh, license plate covers or something really cool like that or something for uh, the inside of the truck, like an air freshener. And I'm a truck guy, right? Maybe it says a Dodge or Ford and I'm going to raise my hand. Well, we get really pe a lot of people raising their hands and then we get to show, which means we get to show more people our continuity program. And that's where that OTO1, that one-time offer, uh, comes into play. So saying that, I got $5 per buyer, which means that I need five buyers in order to get one continuity member. I have to get five buyers at $5 each, that's 25 bucks, to get one continuity member, okay? So it cost me $26 to acquire one continuity member. So what does that look like? First off, we need to look at what does continuity over time look like? Because I know $2,600 doesn't even seem exciting, but I want to show you something. Let's just say, we grabbed a thousand members through our OTO. So we know that's 100%. 100% are gonna pay us a dollar. We know that because they said that day I opted in, they became a member, which gives us 100% satisfaction. That's a thousand bucks. Month two, let's say we renew those guys at $40. So we say, hey, you know what? Stay in for one month or for 14 days or 30 day trial, whatever it wants to be. And if you love it, it's just gonna be 40 bucks a month, okay? I pay for a car wash premium that's $60 a month. So this stuff, I mean, gym membership is $40 a month. There's, there's some gym memberships that are like 100 bucks a month. So month two, we have to not only look at, okay, how many members are gonna rebuild, but what are gonna rebuild them at? And this is where our churn comes into play. So what you wanna look at is what is your churn? Over a long period of time, we've seen that we have a churn of about 82%. We've recently saw a few tweaks that we can make. We're at 93%, so we've increased that by 11%, which is huge, by the way. But for this example, since we have it in writing here, we're gonna keep it at 82%, which means month two, 1,000 of those members are gonna come in, and because of declines, refunds, insufficient funds, cancelizations, all that stuff, we're gonna have that 82% churn, which means 82% are going to stick. So that's 820 members at 40 bucks, which is gonna bring in 32 grand. So month three, we have that same churn of 82. So 820 members now at 82 is 672 members times $40 is 26 grand. Month four is 22 grand. Month five is 18 grand. Guys, in five months, that's a total gross of $100,000. Give me a like real quick on the face. Give me some, give me a lot of likes. What am I talking about? Give me a ton of likes right now on the live stream here real quick because I want to see how many, how much would a hundred thousand change, would a hundred thousand dollars change your business? Would it, would that make a pretty good size dent in what you're doing right now? Guys, what I'm about to show you is something incredible and I don't want to lose you here because what we're going to dive into now is how it all works, but I want to show you first a real world example because what I, what I hear about, you know, like especially in Missouri, which is where we're at, right, we're the show me state, right? I don't believe you until you show me. You can talk theory all day, but until I see real numbers and hard numbers, I'm not going to believe you and I totally get that, which is why I want to show you a real example. So I've given you examples of all types of stuff, right? Like coffee mugs, pins, uh, we did fishing lures, stuff like that. 
Here's an example of can openers, okay? And it might be hard to kind of see on the screen, but there's two can openers on the right, and then we have our order form on the left side here. And on the right, that is Amazon, okay? So we can get uh, or buy or purchase two P51 can openers. You can check these out on Amazon, they're kind of cool. Where what it allows you, these are big for vets, and they're gonna sell us two for $2.44. So write that down. Two of these can openers for $2.44, it says free shipping. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build an order form that sells these, but we're gonna go what's called arbitrage. We're gonna arbitrage these from Amazon. So when we get an order, we just go to Amazon, we type in their address, type in the name, and then send it from Amazon. Well, doesn't that mean that they're gonna know it comes from Amazon? Absolutely, it's gonna come in an Amazon box. Well, don't they, aren't they gonna receive a receipt and know that you paid what X amount versus what they paid? Yeah, absolutely. But there's a really cool thing or option that you can choose inside Amazon, it's a little checkbox that says, don't send a receipt. So they won't get that. But people are so accustomed to receiving stuff from Amazon now because of FBA, uh, you know, they're not gonna blink twice about it. So on this order form, what I wanna show you, I wanna I want tell you because it's probably hard to read, is we're selling one can opener for $1.93. We're selling two can openers for $3.86, three for $5.79, four for $7.72, five for $9.65, and 10 for $19.30. So first off, I wanna backtrack a little bit. Why are you selling one can opener for $1.93 when it costs you $2.44 to send two? That's a fantastic question. I wanna to get to that. Because wouldn't you lose money? Yes, we're gonna to get to that. So, by the way, we're gonna do an upsell. This is what the upsell looks like. It says, hey, you know what? Add one more, try us out for a trial, and uh, jump in there. It's 40 bucks a month after the, four, after the 30 day trial. So I wanna walk through, I'm gonna get up here real quick, and I wanna walk you through these numbers, okay? Because these are really, really important. So what this is, is we sold, I think it was like 53 units, nothing crazy, but it was, a good, it was a good sample size. We sold 53 units in three days, spent it on Facebook, but look how many people left or right here. So 19 people bought one unit for $1.93, that's what we charged them. But we were charged $2.44 from Amazon, which means we are negative $9.69 on that, all right? But Trey, why would I wanna go negative? Why would I wanna go negative? Because guys, if we didn't have this option, I would have lost 19 people who said I'm a buyer, right? And we're converting at 20%, so I would have lost two continuity members. Think about that. Or would that be four continuity members? Four continuity members. So, I would have lost that, right? Because that's all gonna back out later. So that's why we do it. So then, 14 people bought two, seven bought three, three bought four, four people bought five, look at that, two people bought 10. Do these numbers look familiar? Yes, they do. This is our percentages. 38% of the 53 buyers that came through here bought one. 28% bought two, 14% bought three, 6% bought four, 8% bought five, 4% people, 4% of the people that came through bought 10 of those things. You only need one can opener to open a can. Why they're buying 10, I have no clue. Maybe to give them out to friends. We had one guy call in and said, I love these things. I was a vet. Here's what, you know, here's, I, we use these all the time. I, get, I went to Hardee's and gave it all my friends. I thought it was the coolest thing. Cool. So let's hit the next slide. This is gonna show me our total. So this is taking our profit column from this right side, putting it over to the left. Our negative $9, right? We're negative nine on that profit. And then we come into uh, where we actually made money a little bit. So we made $48 and 60 cents, and we had 50 buyers. Well, that is a 97 cents per conversion. Well, hold on, you forgot the ad spend. We did, or did we? So we spent $501 on Facebook that time to get 50 buyers. So take the divide by, 500 bucks divided by 50 buyers is $10.02 per conversion would cost us. Hmm, so it's costing me $10 per conversion, okay? But I only received 97 cents in profit, which means I'm negative $9, my cost per buyer. Now I wanna make sure you guys are following along because this is extremely important. 100, we have that conversion, right, of our OTO. 100 buyers over 20%, it takes five buyers to create one member. So if I'm negative $9 and my biggest point on this funnel to drive home is to acquire uh, continuity members, I need to see that, okay, to get a continuity member, I'm gonna pay $9 for a conversion, negative, five, and that's gonna be negative $45 to get one continuity member. So you're saying that I need to pay negative $45 in the hole 
to get one kind of member, that doesn't seem like it's gonna work out. Well then why would I put an audacious goal like this up? I want a thousand clients. Trey, you're freaking crazy. Well, first off, I don't wanna lose you right here because I'm about to pop up a big number called 45 grand and I, and, I, and I lose so many people. I lose the audience at this point. I lose you guys at this point. And so I want you to, make, I want you to hit the like button if you're still here. Are you still here right now with me? Push the like button because I want you to follow this really closely. And like I said, if you've not saved this video yet, you need to make sure because you need to come back to this over and over until you fully understand this because this is the crucial piece to this entire system to make it work. So I want a thousand members. In order to get that, I need to spend negative $45, which means I would be 45 grand in the hole. If I would spend that on Facebook ad spend, that means I need to spend about $1,500 per ad spend. But you're saying, you know what? Maybe I don't have 45 grand. I totally get that. I didn't have 45 grand either. I'm showing you what this scales out to be. But what I would say is start with 50 people. Start looking at getting 100 people. Start looking at getting your first 1,000, then your first 5,000, then your first 10,000, because here's what I'm gonna show you, as I'm gonna show you how we're about to turn this around in two months. We're gonna turn this around, it's gonna be better than investment to, that you could ever go and sit down to an Edward Jones guy and be like, he would look at you with ghost eyes saying, you know what? I think the desk need to be turned because I need to learn from you because this is about to get crazy. So let me show you something. Month one, 1,000 members come in at a dollar. That's 1,000 bucks, nothing crazy. Month two, 1,000 at 82% where you know what that is. That's our churn. 820 at 40, that's 32 grand. Month three, something especially amazing happens, which is my Australian accent. Plus this amazing break even. Month two and month three, we hit the break even point. 45 grand to put in continuity at, at between month two and month three. Guys, that is only 45 days away. We're break even. We're at 60 grand at month three, which means now we're whaling the profit, which means we still got more months to go. We have month four, which is gonna bring in 22 grand, month five, 18 grand, month six, 14 grand. That's a total revenue of $115,000 that you spent 45 grand to get. So you're telling me in six months, I spent 45 grand up front, and in six months, six loan months, $115,000 was returned. I made my money back in two months? Yeah, you're seeing the same numbers I'm looking at. So what does this look like? What does this look like? It all looks like by changing your view, things can happen. You, you guys ever go, like around and, and you see like different opportunities that exist. It's amazing, right? Like things that are out there that's like, wow, I didn't even know that existed. Didn't even know that existed, but that's a great opportunity. Not the typical like doctor, lawyer, uh, pharmacist, physician, stuff like that. Like the stuff that exists outside the sphere. Guys, this is one of those opportunities that you do not want to miss. And like I said, if you're not done it yet, you need to save this video, you need to click that link above it because I want to show you, I want to help you with your business and I want to take it to these levels. Let's do that together, okay? So if you have not clicked that link above this video yet, you need to go and fill out the application. If the application is still live, we're still looking for those two mastermind members to come in and stand behind and say, this is how we do this. We handhold it and show you the systems that we're using to get to these places. Because this is what you need in your business. You need continuity and you need to be sustainable. You need to build that foundation so you're not out trying to find those one hit wonders, okay? So you every at the, at the first of the other month, you know bills are paid. You know expenses are paid. You know your ad spend's paid. You have a budget to go and spend more to build the company up. This is what I'm talking about. So just by having 1,000 clients, let me show you this. Watch this, watch your screen. 1,000 clients that are paying $40 a year brings you, will bring you $480,000 a year. Would that change your life? Would $480,000 in income change who you are and what you do? Would it make things a lot easier? It's just a thousand clients, that's easy. A thousand clients is nothing. If you wanna put that in perspective, let's put a thousand divided by 365. That's getting two continuity members, a little over two, a day. You think you can do that? You think you can get two continuity members a day? That's a $480,000 a year income for you if you do that. Look at this, 2,000 is right under the million mark. Right, everybody's goal is always, how much do you wanna make? I wanna make a million dollars. There it is right here, right there on the screen. 2,000 clients will bring you 960 grand a year. 3,000, now you're on the million mark, congratulations. 1.4 million dollars a year. 4,000 clients is 1.9 million dollars a year. 5,000 clients 
is $2.4 million a year, and this is my absolute favorite, 10,000 clients will bring in to your company $4.8 million a year. Guys, that is insane. That's, okay, so 10,000 divided by, what is that, 20 people a day? 27 members, all you need is bring in 20, you think you can bring in 27 members a day? That's one member an hour, that's all it is. One member an hour is a $4.8 million a year business, right there, just in continuity, not to, not to mention the, the funnels that you're building, right? The business that you're building, the calls, the, everything, like it's amazing, the foundation, the, you see what I'm saying with the pillars? I can get that this is a lot to take in, you know? It's a lot to see. Some of you are having trouble seeing it, and I totally get that. It's hard to grasp sometimes, especially if you're not in it all the way, 100%. I want to I want to show you a, a, a story that I recently came across. Maybe you've seen it's been on the internet so much time, but I want to show you the story where this uh, this autistic kid came in. I think he might be uh, I think he's blind as well. To where this world that he's in is is such a, a you know a dark world in a way. To where it's hard to find things. It's hard to see. Hard to envision. Hard to know like what that is, and. This is what it looks like when you find something that you've been looking for in a long time and it changes your perspective on everything. Check this out. Because that's what it's going to look like. That's what it's going to feel like. That's the emotion that you're going to have when we show you exactly what it is that we do. When we show you how to take your entire company and build a back end, build a system that continues to grow, that continues to go up in revenue. The continuity piece, the back end, which is the upsells, the downsells, the thank you pages, we call them reactive funnels. That's what we're looking for, and that's what we want to help you with. So at the end of the day, my name's Trey Llewellyn. Click on that link above this video, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the other side.